welcome back guys to another GTA video and in today's one we are going to continue on with the stunt jumps from the other day there. So without further ado let's get into the first one. And this is the first jump down at Elysian Island. Now these ones can be quite tricky to finish off as you do need to get yourself lined up for each of these ramps and the speed is crucial on most of these. This first one does require quite a bit of speed to get yourself up on top of the roof. But moving on to the second one down at Elysian Island and this one is a lot trickier as after you've built up your speed you do need to make a slight left turn to get yourself lined up on the ramp and again it's up onto the roof but too much speed and you will go over the edge. Moving on to the third jump down at Elysian Island and this one you do have a straight run up onto the ramp but once again too fast and you will hit the tower on landing. So all about speed control again, it may take you a couple of attempts but we finally get this one done, I think this one took me three attempts. Moving on to jump number four down here and once again you do have a straight enough run up for this one but it is all about the speed control on this one. Too slow and you'll hit some of the ducts, too fast you'll hit the raised roof. But we do get that one landed and we can move on to jump number five down here. And this one is fairly easy, it is a straight run up onto the ramp and you're jumping up onto the upper road. You do need a little bit of speed to get the, the height to carry yourself up onto the road and clipping the wall still counted for me there so go away with that one. Moving on to jump number 6 down here and this is probably the most daunting one of all. It is a straight run up, you do need a lot of speed but you are jumping over the water. You do have a large landing area though so providing you've got enough speed you should be good. Once we've landed that one we can move on to the two at the north side of the island here. The first one being once again a jump over the water and this one can be a little awkward as once you come off the ramp you do need to aim a, a little bit left just to avoid the framework of that tower there. You do then need to make your way back across the water to the other side for the second jump of these two here. And the second one of these two could be one of the most frustrating ones for you. It's quite a simple jump off the dirt ramp here onto the, the motorway just ahead. But that lamp post just there is quite difficult to avoid. So I would advise holding L1 just to bring up your gun so your camera angle doesn't change. Moving on to, there's a couple here at the terminal. And once again a fairly decent run up off a dirt ramp through this framework here and land it on the other side of the raised roads. We can then move on to the final jump of this area and it is once again a jump over the water here. Some luck required so as you don't hit any of the NPC traffic that are going across you but it's a fairly straightforward enough jump, just land it on the road and you'll be good. We can now head over to LSIA and the three jumps that are over here. So the first one is the large ramp in front of the car park. You do need a fairly decent amount of speed so I would advise starting off from where I did and when you go up the ramp you are taking a slight right I unfortunately didn't time the L1 button quick enough so I just had to work off the cinematic camera for that jump but we made it nonetheless. The second jump is the exact same style of ramp on the opposite side and once again we are getting as much of a run up as we can. You can see I was down the side of the car park there but you don't actually need to travel that far. There is a small landing area so providing you don't jump too far you should hit that no problem at all. And the final jump at the airport is of course the trash skip at the side of the main entrance into the airport. This one is all about the run up to the ramp itself and getting yourself lined up properly so as you don't hit the sides. You do also need to carry enough speed to clear all the fencing but 
still a fairly easy jump and that completes all the jumps on the south of the city. Now we do have one final one on the north of the city before we head up towards Sandy Shore area. And this one is just all about spotting that landing so make sure you hold the L1 button so you can come out the cinematic camera and that will allow you to better land the jump itself. Heading out of the city now and you do want to come up to the, the observatory and follow the little duck track out the back, that's where you want to start this one. And you are down the hill and it's a small dirt ramp at the bottom of the hill jumping over the road. The landing is probably the most difficult part here because it is only down slope and there are a few trees that you do need to avoid. And with that one landed we can head over to the wind farm for a few jumps over that side of the map. The first one being at the wind farm itself and you are jumping off a dirt ramp just below one of the turbines down onto the highway below. And once again it is holding that L1 button so you're not in the cinematic camera mode just so you can spot your landing. Once you've landed that, there are two further jumps in this area. The first one being coming off the highway that leads back into the city. Starting off on the highway, you will see a gap in the barriers on the left. And just past that, there is a dirt ramp there and you're just going to land on the grass. Nice easy one, that one. And the final one in this area is the jump from the higher grassy level into the prison itself. Now the takeoff ramp can be a little bit difficult to see, it's basically just the end of the grass. There is a slight lift up of the edge of it and you do need a decent amount of speed just to clear the distance and the two fences. But go too far and you will hit the wall before you land. Thankfully I landed that one first time. So moving on to the next jump and it is just south of the Sandy Shores Airport. The dirt ramp can be a little bit difficult to see at first but if you just aim for the middle of that big rock that's what you're jumping over and just land it on the runway itself to complete that jump. And with six jumps remaining we can move on to the next one and this one can be a little tricky. This is a jump over the top of the old abandoned hotel and the ramp itself can be a little bit tricky just to line yourself up onto as it is quite narrow. The landing area is also a little bit tricky but I did manage that one first time. You do need to avoid those fences and the poles on the right hand side. Moving on to the next jump, it is on the north side of the Alamo Sea. And after that tricky hotel jump, this one is actually fairly straightforward. It's got a decent amount of speed and you're just jumping over this narrow gap here, back onto the road. Once you've completed that one, we are moving on to Rattan Canyon. And this one can be a little bit tricky, just mainly because of the landing area. Uh, if you don't get it lined up properly, you will have a very small landing area just like I have right here and you want to try and avoid hitting the, the wall at the back first obviously. That one did take me a couple of attempts but you do want to kind of try and land on that straighter bit of road going down this side. Moving on to the final three jumps, two of which are up here in Polito. This one is a very short jump, you don't want to have too much speed here as it is a very short landing area that you have. But with that one done, we can move on to the penultimate jump, which is the broken bridge jump along the beach road here. Once again though, it is a fairly easy jump this one, just get yourself lined up. The gap that you're jumping over isn't too big and you've got plenty of height to start yourself off with anyway. And with that one done, that makes 49 out of 50 stunt jumps completed with only one remaining. And that final jump is the formidable lighthouse jump. And this one is truly horrible. You need to land it on the small piece of land just to the right hand side of the lighthouse there. So let's see how many attempts this one actually takes me. 
So for any new players, the game is located here on the right hand side of the map. But there is no point in just staring at it, let's go on with it. So we'll back it up and initially I am just looking for some sort of marker. I think I'll go for it here. You can see the two poles in the background, just line myself up in between those poles. If I am too long, I know I need to go closer. If I'm too short, I need to go further away. And at least I made it onto the lighthouse. So I know the, the length and the distance is right. The speed was okay, it's just lining it up. So let's go try again. Attempt number two, I'll just return the car so as I can call it in once I get back onto the land again. Now the car that I am using is the Misacro and it has not been, I've not upgraded it at all. It is just a stock vehicle straight from the showroom. Someone did say that I would need a, a faster car for this jump, but having landed it on the island once, I think I can do it again with this one. All I'm doing here is going out and clearing these barriers out the way so as it doesn't impact my line or my uh, speed. So once again, I am just going to line myself up in between those two poles and we are going for it for the second time. I think first attempt I didn't trust myself and I'd made a wee left turn but kept myself straight on this turn and yes, I will definitely take that one. All four wheels did touch the land before I went for a swim. So I'm glad that was only two attempts. I think on my main character, I did take a lot more than two attempts on that one. But there you have it guys. If you did enjoy today's video or did find it useful, do leave a like. And if you are new here, why not consider subscribing? Thanks again for watching and I will catch you in the next one.